Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm very, very excited about this because I am going to show you how I got this look using these two gorgeous palettes right here. So if you are interested in seeing that, hearing my thoughts on these palettes, my initial thoughts, first impression again, first impressions are not reviews, stick around and we will get started in just a moment. But before we do, if you're new here, hi, I'm Annie. I am a 40-something lover of color who believes that you can have fun with color at any age. If that sounds fun or interesting, if you'd like to see a little more color in your timeline, if you're interested in indie break makeup, breakup, indie indie makeup, um, as much as I am and as much as I know my subscribers are, if you'd like to see some brands that you don't see everywhere else all the time, I would love it if you would sus subscribe. I cannot talk. I am tired. We're going to leave it though. I don't have time to film it again. I'm sorry, guys. All right. So let's talk about these palettes. So these are the ZC, which I had never heard of, um, ZC and British Museum Alice in Wonderland palettes. So this one is called Off With Her Heads, and this one is We're All Mad Here. Now, I purchased these palettes because I was sucked in by the packaging. I am not usually one who falls for Facebook or Instagram ads, but these popped up, I think, first on my Facebook feed, and I was like, oh, those are really pretty. I mean, look at the packaging. And I don't know if this will pick up on camera, but there is actual glitter in there. It's like a snow globe in a palette, and it's amazing. And I love Alice in Wonderland, and so I was like, well, those are really pretty, but I've never heard of this brand. I don't know what it is. I can't really find very many reviews. I think I'm gonna pass on it. And then I saw them on Instagram and they kept showing up. And so then I did like a poll on my Instagram and asked if I bought these, would you guys watch a video? Lots of people said yes. And so here I am, I did go ahead and purchase them. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the buying experience. I'm gonna pull up my phone so that I have the correct information. All right. so. Each of these palettes, oh gosh, I don't have what each of them are. I bought them in a bundle, that's why. If you bought them together, you got a discount and then you could apply another discount. So the two of these palettes together was $78 and then I got a discount for signing up for their mailing list. So my discount was $11.70 and I paid $66.30. These do ship out of China and they actually shipped for free. So I didn't pay for shipping and because they came from China, I did not pay for tax. Um, they, I ordered them on August 4th. They shipped out August 5th and they arrived to me yesterday, which was August 17th. Given the state of the world, I am impressed with how quickly they showed up. I'm also impressed with how they were packaged. Let me pull up the box because I saved all of this. This is how they came to me with all of this bubble wrap. So each package was in one of these things right here. Now, having worked in like tech and stuff, I know that this is like super protective packaging that they, they use this for like, you know, like light bulbs for, um, you know, projectors and things like this, really protective. So each palette was one of those. And then there was like a whole lot of bubble wrap. So they were snug, they were tight. I was a little concerned that they would show up broken just given that they're coming all the way from China. And again, I'd never heard of this brand before. I did see, after I saw these, I went hunting for reviews and I could find um, a few videos on the brand itself. Most of them were in, um, were not in English. I am not, I'm an American. I'm, that means I'm an uneducated person. Um, I don't speak any other languages. I, I, it's a failing and I know. Um, so I only found one English language. I did watch a couple of the foreign language ones. I'm sorry. Yeah. The, the not English ones, um, to kind of get the gist. So but I wasn't really expecting much of these. I really wasn't. I bought these knowing that they could be total duds and, um, but they were beautiful. They were really a beautiful, pretty face. So I think that's all I have to say about these palettes at the moment. We're gonna dive into the tutorial. You're gonna see how they work. I will, I should tell you maybe a little bit more. Let's see. So how many sh shades do we have in here? We have one, two, three, four, so eight. And then we have, these split pans. So we have eight shades here and then we have these two split pans. Um, and this, there's, there's a pressed glitter in each of them. 
So this is a press glitter here. And then here is what the inside of this one looks like because I don't think I even showed you guys because again, six o'clock in the morning. And this one here is a pressed glitter. So yeah, and to be 100% honest, if the packaging wasn't as beautiful as it is, I would not have purchased these. These color stories are very weird. They're very weird. Like, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm not quite understanding the color story, to tell you the truth. Um, but that, that could just be me. I don't know. They're very weird, but again, the only reason I purchased them really was because of the packaging and I wasn't expecting much. But I did get this really gorgeous look out of it. So, I think that's all I need to say right now. Um, I'm gonna go, I need to eat some breakfast because I filmed this after, anyways, I'm rambling. So I'm gonna go, you guys are going to watch the tutorial and then you're going to see my final thoughts on these palettes um, of my first impression and I know I said it later but I'm going to say it again if you want to see individual reviews dedicated reviews to each of these please let me know because I can definitely do that all right let's just dive right into the tutorial now so I think what I'm going to do today is kind of a like sunset eye using both palettes. So I'm going to start with the red palette, which I think is the Off With Her Heads palette. And I'm going to go in with the yellow shade right here. Um, it does come with a brush. I'll probably talk more about that later, but it feels like a very cheap brush. So I'm just gonna go in, well, <laughs> with one of my own brushes, which the one I'm going to go in with is, is pretty cheap as well. So there we have it. I'm going to go in with this Morphe M441. And again, I'm going to go in with that yellow. These shades do not have names. So there's that. So right away, I'm not seeing much kick up in the pan. And for a yellow, I can see it on my skin, which is great. I think that it actually looks pretty good. Hard to say, you know, right now of a first impression, obviously. I'm going to have to play with these a whole lot more to make up my mind about them. Um, but so far, I think that is actually a very pretty yellow. I am noticing a little bit of kick up, but nothing, you know, crazy. It is not like ABH level kick up at all. Definitely a beautiful formula so far on this yellow at least. But I always expect that with the yellow. All right, that's where we are so far. So I will say that these palettes smell kind of weird. Like, I don't even know what the smell is. They don't smell like, they, don't, they smell a little bit chemically, but not like terrible. I don't know, hopefully my eyeballs don't fall out. We are now going to go into the blue palette, which I think is the We Are All Mad Here palette. And I'm going to go in with this orange shade right here. And I'm just taking out a Morphe M433. And that was quite a bit of pigment right off the bat. Let's see how it actually applies. I missed my eyeball. Oh my God. This is why I don't like Morphe brushes. It's like sheds all over me. Hmm. Okay, let's continue on. That is actually quite good pigment. I'm I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, and it's blending out very well. Wow, okay, that's way better than I expected, which is always nice because, I mean, let's face it, I didn't really buy these palettes with high hopes of a great formula. I bought them because they were pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. That was fast and easy. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more yellow on this side. This side looks funky. I'm not gonna blame the shadow for that because I don't know what I did there. It's called I'm Clumsy because it is 5.30 in the morning and I've been up since 4.30. So 
if that's not looking the blendedest, blendedest, blendiest, I don't know. If that's not looking the greatest over here, I'm not gonna blame the shadow on that one because this eye looks fantastic. All right, going back to the, we're now off with their heads palette, which is this red palette here. I am going to pick up this red shade here. So this is like a split pan. It's got like a, I think it's a, I don't know, I haven't swatched it yet. So it's got a very deep shade here. It's either a black or a really dark blue, but it's got some purple like sparkles in it. And then it's got this red up here. I'm going to use that red. And I'm just going to pick this up on an M456. And we are going to place that here. Again, I think that the pigment is definitely better than I expected. That blended up. That blended out beautifully. Wow. I honestly expected a nightmare to tell you the truth. I really did. I watched like a couple reviews on these, but um, you know, there's not a whole lot out there on them. So I really was not expecting much. Okay, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Very, very pleasantly surprised. Wow. Wow, I'm just gonna just kind of go back in with my brushes that I use to start and just make sure I've got everything kind of blended out. I'm gonna add a little bit more orange to this side because while I like this one better, it doesn't quite match what I did on the other eye, so. I'm pleasantly surprised, like I said. I'm I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, do I wanna add a little bit more depth? I don't wanna ruin it. I might ruin it at this stage, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush, going back into the We're All Mad palette and this brown shade right here. I just wanna see if I can deepen this up just a smidgen. So, I'm barely kind of tapping in there and then adding just a little bit of that brown. And then I wanna add a bit more of that red just to make sure that that red is still really there. This is like total fall leaves fall vibes at this point, and it is gonna be 100 degrees today, so not really fall, but hey. And one more time, going kind of back through things, go back with that orange here. Okay, I am I'm impressed, you guys. I think that this is really pretty. These mattes blended out so, so nicely. Let's go ahead in with some glitter primer. And I think what I'm going to do, as much as I am totally intrigued by this pink shade here, I'm not gonna use that today. I'm gonna go in with this orange shade, which looks very sparkly. And I may add some of this pressed glitter on it. This pressed glitter is like made up of like fancy glitter. It's hearts and stars. I don't know if that'll pick up on camera at all, but it's really pretty. So I do wanna try one of these pressed glitters out today. So that's going to, I think, be the one. So picking up my brush, if I can find it. Hello, brush, where are you? There we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter primer to my brush, maybe. And we're gonna go ahead and do my standard kind of cut crease kind of shape, like a half cut crease here. And then of course, just using the same brush, I'm gonna go into that sparkly orange shade, make some of that up. 
And oh, that is pretty, oh my. That is so pretty. I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but in real life, that is incredibly sparkly and foiled and, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And since we're here, and just for funsies, there is a kind of red, like foily looking shade there. I'm gonna pick some of that up as well. I'm gonna use a different brush for that just because I don't like to mix my brushes like that. It's just the way I am. And we're just gonna kind of tap it here on the outer V area again oh my gosh that's really pretty too and that one's not even on top of a glitter primer because you know I had already laid down that orange and I didn't take my primer out this far holy cannoli I go back in with that brush that I used for the orange and I just want to make sure I don't have any harsh lines here so I'm just going to kind of tap a little bit there where they meet and drag them together that is so 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 pretty okay for the pressed glitter I think I'm just going to try to pick that up with my finger. I don't think I want to try it with a brush. And I'm just going to kind of tap some of it maybe here in the center and we'll see. That's a weird formula. It feels dry. It doesn't feel like wet, like a uh, ColourPop one. Hopefully it sticks okay. Okay, it's so cute though. I don't know how well that's picking up. Let me add a little bit more. I'm just gonna kind of push and shove it around. Okay, this is tricky. I want something small that I can use to kind of move these little glitter bits around on my eyeball. Hopefully I don't wind up with this in my eye disguise because again, this is a pressed glitter this is not really eye safe, so if you decide to put glitter on your eye, do so at your own risk. All right, I don't know if you can see how cute those little glitters are. They are adorable. I'm kind of in love with them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, let's just finish off this eye and then I'll come back to this eye. All right, so I think what I wanna do for the lower lash line is actually go in with a blue. Although I'm so intrigued because I haven't used this shade and I'm so curious about these. There's a blue and white one in the other shade, in the other palette, and it's like a red shimmer mixed with a pink shimmer, but I don't really wanna put that under my, um, under my eyes. Um, if you want me to do more looks with these palettes and just, you know, focus on one palette, let me know down below because I can definitely do that. I do have a lot of things here that need um, attention, but so far the quality of these is such that I definitely wouldn't mind playing with them again. Okay, that out of the way. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this blue shimmer right here under my lashes. So I get that kind of like sunset on water effect. I'm gonna go in to start with with a very small kind of smudger brush here. And I am just going to smudge that here. It's kind of more on the like purple side, I would say. Obviously I need a liner down here because we're looking pretty crazy. And this one isn't looking super metallic or foiled or anything. In the pan, it's got a bit of a sheen to it, but on the eye, it's behaving pretty much like a matte. I'm gonna just take a brush down here now, and I'm gonna see if I can kind of blend that out a little bit. Again, I think that it's blending really, really nicely. That is really, really pretty. And then to kind of mesh these two together, I want to pick up a bit more of the brown from this palette 
and just kind of blend the blue into where I've got the brown and uh, the red happening there in the outer portion, just so it's not so disjointed. I'm really, really happy with this, you guys. For my inner corner, what do I want to use? I actually have a lot of options because, like I said, there's this kind of mixed shade here. There's a dual pan here. These two give me the vibes that, I don't know, they're the same shades just mixed together, so that's interesting. Um, or I could go in with that pink shade in the other palette. I think I'm gonna go straight in with, with this one. It has a very cute little bow in the pan. Can you see the bow? Isn't that adorable? I'm gonna avoid the bow because I don't wanna mess it up. I think it's just an overspray and it's adorable and I like it and I want it to stay there. So I'm not gonna use any additional product. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that kind of a white shimmery shade there. This is on my Luxie 111. It's a mini flat angled brush and we are just gonna kind of pop it there in the corner. That is really bright, even without any glitter glue. That is really pretty. It may have been the wrong choice for this look, but because it's very silvery, very silvery. So I do think I wanna go in with something on top of it. Um, I'm gonna try that pink shade in the red palette. Is this the red palette? I'm so confused. Yes, in the red palette. I'm gonna try a little bit of that just to kind of warm it up a bit. That's really pretty. I really like this. I am I am so impressed. Um, I do want to blend this out a little bit more. There are, it looks like pretty much the same shade in each of these palettes. It's just like a nude kind of bone shade. So I think I'm just going to use that if I can find my little brush. I'm just gonna use that and we're just going to kind of blend this out a little bit more down here. I don't expect this to show up at all on my skin tone because it's basically the same color as me, but I do just wanna kind of, I don't know, maybe we're gonna add a little bit more of that blue too. I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, guys. It's early and I'm tired. It is 5.46. I need to get a move on because I need to film my intro and I need to wrap it up here because I gotta get to work. All right, I'm gonna leave this here. I'm going to do the other eye, apply liner, all of that stuff, and then I'll come back, show you guys the final look, and we'll take a talk about these palettes. So here's the final eye look. Okay, so I didn't add any lipstick because mask today. Anyhow, let's just take a chit chat about these palettes. Can we just talk about these? Oh my gosh, I am so impressed. I was not expecting much. I was expecting these to be just a pretty face, something that I could just have on my desk to look at because they're beautiful, but they performed so well. These mattes blended out so easily and effortlessly, I was actually shocked. And I love how smooth the blend is. I mean, there is just no harsh lines. It's gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't have any fallout to speak of. I do have a little bit of blue fallout, um, but it's nothing noticeable. And I honestly didn't even try to wipe it off because I was worried that if I tried to wipe it off that it would smear all over my face and I would be in a mess. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised. And again, I think these are so, so pretty. They are so beautiful. They're such like works of art. Um, I, I just, I, I'm very, I'm very pleased because I spent my money on these and, um, I like them. So yay. Of course, I do have to try them some more. Like I said earlier, if you're interested in seeing a dedicated video for each one of these palettes, please let me know down below and I can definitely do that. Um, but together, I think they worked beautifully. Now I do have to say, I think that the color stories are a little odd. I really do. I don't know what's with the orange in here. I would this being like the Queen of Hearts palette, I probably would have gone with some pink for the flamingos, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so the color stories are definitely weird. 
but they're so pretty and this the pans are gorgeous. I mean, this imprint, there's like, a, I don't know if you can see, there's like a rose here. I mean, and this is just so, so pretty. There's some, you know, playing card, um, you know, suits here as well. They're just really beautiful, well thought out. I do wish there were names just because I do like names. And here is again, a close up of this one. I do like names. I, I think it just is nice. They could have gotten rid of this. I don't need this. I haven't tried it, but it just, feels very lightweight and very, very, very cheap and inexpensive. So I don't know that I'm going to use them. I probably just keep them in the palettes because I don't like to look at the empty space in something so beautiful. All right. So that does it for me today. I'm going to go. It is already six o'clock. I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I need to do that before I head out the door, but I also need to film my intro. So maybe I might not have breakfast this morning. We shall see. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like down below. Next to like, there is that subscribe button. If you haven't hit that yet, please do if you like today's video. And of course, next to that subscribe button is a bell. If you ring that bell, you will be notified of all of my uploads. And you can find me on Instagram. I am there at seemybliss underscore beauty. And if you leave your house today, please remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, be kind to your friends, be kind to your family, be kind to your neighbors, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.